This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, November 24th, 2009. I'm your host, Peter Bush. Today we will announce our winner of Performance of the Week. Look for that in about oh, seven minutes or so. First, we're going to talk a little college swimming and recruiting. There were a lot of solid recruiting classes put together this year. Pretty much all the top schools had a big name or two or three. But none of the recruits carried as much cachet as a girl from North Dakota. Dagna Knutson chose Auburn. And now that she's officially signed, we can ask head coach Brett Hawk how he reeled in one of the biggest recruits in high school history. And coach Hawk joins us right now on Skype. How you doing, Coach? Hey, Peter. Thanks for having me. How did it go down with Dagny uh, choosing, uh, choosing the Tigers? Well, you know, it's a situation where, um, you know, I tried not to jump on her as much as some of the other coaches were very early on in recruiting. Um, but then we were lucky enough to get a, a great coach in the name of Paul Yetta come to the program. And I think the combination of, of him and I and, and just what Dagny was looking for, I think it all worked out. Um, we had a great visit at her house with her parents um, a week before she came out to visit the school. And, uh, you know, we answered all her questions and, and she felt very comfortable with us and, and, and we felt comfortable with her. So it was just a situation where... It was great for both parties. Now, the time she's been putting up even this year in those old school textile suits are just incredible. I mean, do you, I guess have you uh, do you realize just how amazing a swimmer you're getting next year? Oh, absolutely. I think everybody knows how good she is, and uh, and uh, we're really excited for the future. One of the things we talked about her with was obviously the Olympic Games and and going to the highest level, and I think that's something that she really wants to do. And, and uh, you know, we feel like we can take her there and, and perform it uh, at the highest level, you know, shooting for gold medals. That's what we're looking for out of her, and, uh, and that's what she wants for herself as well. So it's, it's, it's great. Now, congratulations on your recruiting classes in general, both on the men's and women's side. Very, very impressive. Uh, and they will be joining some already impressive swimmers you have there. Uh, let's, let's talk about a few. How's Ava Ogren doing? She's doing well. She's uh, one of the leaders, captains this year, and uh, she's embracing her senior year. She's looking forward to, to performing at the highest level again. I think she was disappointed with some of her results uh, last year, and so she's looking to bounce back and, and really um, put some points on the board uh, this year for the, for the Tigers. And so, you know, she's doing great. Um, you know, a lot of the other girls, uh, you know, obviously we, we swam against Georgia a couple of days ago, and they're a fantastic team. They look really good. And so it was great to kind of see where our women are against uh, the top program in the country. And, and we've got some work to do, but uh, we're definitely hungry, and we want to we get there at the end of the year. And Tyler McGill, one of the leaders on your defending champion men's team, how's he looking? Uh, Tyler's looking better every every day. I mean, he's just a fantastic swimmer. We're really blessed to have a guy like him. I think the World Championships, making that World Championship team, and then going on to swim in the final of the 100 Butterfly, I mean, that's just done so much for his confidence, and uh, I think he's going to be a force to, to be reckoned with this year in, uh, in the 100 Butterfly, especially. And... Uh your program is also very, very well known for the elite postgrads that you still have training there. Uh, are Caesar and, and Fred are they back at Auburn? Or are they still doing their world tour? Uh, still doing the world tour a little bit. Fred was back last week for a week, uh, which was fantastic to see him. Um, he's having a baby in in April with his girlfriend Laura Manadou, so they're going to spend some time in France while that happens. Uh, Caesar is looking to compete next month. At, at the Nationals in Brazil, and then he's going to come back to Auburn. So at the moment, it's kind of in and out. Um, but we've got, you know, Mark Gangloff's here training really well, and, and um, Matt Target's here, and uh, who else is here? Jakob Enkar's still here. Uh, so there's a few guys around who are working really well. Hey, we didn't know that about Fred Bousquet. You just broke some news. Tell him congratulations for us, please. Oh really? Yeah, I thought everybody knew that by now. Yeah, he's uh, he's having a baby with Law Manadou, so it's uh, it's hopefully we we asked him to sign some papers early so that that <laughs> kid can be part of our team in the future. So I think that kid's going to know how to swim. That's for sure. Yeah, no kidding. Well, that's good stuff, Coach. Thank you so much for joining us, and uh, good luck this season. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, that's Coach Brett Hawk, and we will be right back with our performance of the week. There's a reason for the 
sunshine sky And there's a reason Why I'm feeling so high Must be the season You get more power and more space The world gets fewer smog-forming emissions The third generation Prius It's harmony between man, nature, and machine Welcome back. Time now for our performance of the week. For us, it was a tough choice between Therese Alsamer, Peter Marshall, and Julia Smith. But we're going with Peter Marshall, who lowered his own world record on the 50 backstroke to close out his run at the World Cup, swimming in 22.61 in the event. Marshall had hung up the suit and goggles for good after the 2008 Olympic trials, but he has re-emerged for consecutive stellar World Cup series, and he already plans on swimming again next year. Congrats, Peter. You are our Performer of the Week. And that's our show for today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.